So I woke up and I looked at my Twitter, as I am wont to do when I'm checking my messages and shit, which I still have so many to respond to. Ah! And I, I see, I see this person. Obviously, they already had their replies locked by the time I woke up. So you know, uh, they, they got they got a picture of the beautiful Bowberry here on the screen. <laughs> And they say, as a plus-size person who suffers from uh, PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, I've talked about that on stream before, an incurable illness that causes weight gain, I'm absolutely disheartened by this toggle. Our bodies aren't a punchline for a joke, and there are many reasons people may be overweight. It's current year! And you have the potential to impact a large community. So why spread hate and shame your community? I encourage Bao to learn about weight gain and to please do better in the future. Video of the toggle. God, I hope the song the is in here. Beach. Wide, wide, it can't be towed. These are the girls I love the most. I mean the ones. I mean like she's a ton. Feed her, breed her, squeeze her buns. She blocks the dun, she fills the streets. A whale's How are you gonna hear feed her, breed her, and then take offense to it and also not understand this is an inflation fetish? In beach, I'm obese, need to feast. At the buffet, now I'm at Chick-fil-A. New <laughs> You could let mother work. What is that? You'll be growing up, chub. I can't help it. This song lives literally rent free in my head, chat, ever since I heard it. And then after after they make their their tweet to farm some some nice Twitter ass pets, they go. Note, we can agree to disagree. It all comes down to personal boundaries. Sometimes a joke is not meant to do harm. I fully understand that. To myself and some of the community joking about conditions, medical or not, that may or may not be in their control is crossing a line. Please stop putting words in my mouth. I didn't share I have PCOS to get sympathy points. Bullshit. I shared it to explain there is a medical reasons as to why some might be overweight other than poor diet and exercise. The community needs to learn. People can agree to disagree and move on. Well, unfortunately, you've pissed in the ocean of piss and now you are getting the splash bag. I find it, I find it interesting that any time, like, these people are just like, hey, I literally see myself in this image and I am unhappy! They get angry when people call them silly for it. And especially, I shared it to explain there's medical reasons as to why some might be overweight other than poor diet and exercise. You mean, like, feederism? Like, inflation? You know, it's not a medical reason, but uh, it's a reason why someone's gonna be overweight other than other than poor diet and exercise. <laughs> if they're doing it for fetishistic reasons, you know. <laughs> when you when you have like thyroid issues or when you have a hormone imbalance, like with Picos, it can make losing weight slightly harder. Like she's she's not wrong, but it's not something to get upset at an inflation fetish joke for. I'm for creatine, thank you for the five dollars. I didn't share my medical condition for pity points. Yes, you did, get over yourself. <laughs> I clicked on this. I clicked on this and I read this and there's like somebody else here who's like at bow, like literally directly adding bow. I know it's not just you. Apparently it's been a few people. Whether this is a joke or not, please understand how hurtful this can be to the plus size kings and queens in this community. I will probably get a lot of shit for this from your community, but you should understand. Oh, I didn't continue here. You should understand how hurtful this is and how not okay this is. Man. <laughs> She's kings and queens unironically. And someone tries being like, oh, come on, dude. This isn't a discrimination thing. Bowberry is supposed to be a joke, something to have fun with. It's not a negative view on chubby people. It's supposed to be a meme. 
It's making being overweight a joke. Calling it a meme doesn't negate the fact that it's hurt a lot of people. She's not gonna pick you, simp. She's literally making herself fat. She She's on many occasions said this is an inflation fetish joke. She's leaned into the inflation in many different memes. She is a literal fucking whale VTuber, so it's even got another layer of joke on top of it. This blows my mind. This blows my mind! <laughs> oh my god, and then somebody... Somebody also says, her songs completely mock plus-sized people. So yes, she does openly say discriminating things. And these are just tiny clips. It's a fetish. It's, it's a fe it's a fe have, have autogynephiliacs made themselves so abundant that everyone can just look at some kind of fetish and be like, oh, that's me, I'm offended. What is happening? I, in my half awake state, made a couple of sentences because I was like, how dare they make me wake up to this shit? <laughs> so I, I posted and some, some, little, some little weirdo here was like, you are aware it's more than just Celeste commenting on it, right? People are also bringing up the lyrics to said song as well. You seem to be aware of the California girl lyrics, right? Then you are aware about the lyric involving heart disease. So I was like, yeah, any anyone feigning outrage? Like I had just woken up, so this was the only tweet that I had seen about it, and she was quote retweeting somebody else who was complaining. So I had no idea that this was apparently some like huge fucking thing. So I was just like, yeah, anyone feigning outrage over a fetish joke is a very silly individual. I don't care who, I don't care how many, dude. A person responds. I mean, can't the same be said about content creators with nearly 20k followers on Twitter chiming in on situations they have no reason getting involved in? Especially when said situation happened eight hours ago? What am I even supposed to say to this fucking idiocy, dude? Eight hours? That- what? Who, that's not even a long time! That's like a work day! <laughs> and what does me having almost 20k followers have to do with that either? How many followers does Bao have? How many- how many followers does Bao have? Where's this- an idiot that pinged her. I was like, what? Bao. Bao VTuber. All right, okay. Uh, Bao, Bao has 544,000 followers. What? How dare you? How dare you try and fight this VTuber with such an inflated follower count? <laughs> she, she's going to eat you and inflate it farther. <laughs> I just, I, I do not understand this kind of, this kind of, like, who, it's an ocean of piss, man. Get fucking used to it. How many followers do you have? 404? Literally not found. Get out. What are you doing? I'm not the one offended, but a plus size VTuber had to deal with people calling her a bowberry and felt bad about it. And I see, I see this thing that he quoted down there, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna press a giant fucking X. My source is that I made it the f up. There is zero chance, I believe, that somebody wanted to harass you by calling you specifically a bowberry instead of the plethora of other obese jokes they could have made. <laughs> Who's been called a bowberry? <laughs> It kinda actually does because it allows you to know the context of the actual full situation. Celeste was merely echoing this individual situation. Someone called me on stream, Bow Blueberry, and I don't know how I feel about it. It's normal that I feel bad about it, question mark. Can we see the proof? If somebody called you a Bow Blueberry, there's got to be a DM, there's got to be a public message on Twitter, there's got to be someone in your stream chat who said it. I just like, there's there's no way <laughs> that they did that. Sluts. Bow needs to make a Bowberry fig. I would buy a Bowberry figurine. If she gets a Bowberry figurine, she has to be like sitting on whatever her little mascot is. I can't remember what her mascot looks like. But she's got to be sitting on it, and it's got to look like it's dying. <laughs> I would, I would understand if somebody has like a prolonged harassment campaign against them, right? 
If somebody has to deal with individuals constantly attacking them for the same thing, day in, day out, making memes about it, it being inescapable, I would, I would understand them being like, look, dude, I'm fucking fed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking fed up. Yeah. I don't hate Bao, but people calling me Blueberry Bao for this toggle she has is like, <laughs> the zoomer. I don't know. Please don't hate me. Maybe, maybe I'm just jaded for all of the VTubers who try, like, claiming they are getting harassed and it's all just fake, right? I, I don't, I don't know about this actually happening. And if it did, and if it was one comment, just ban the person. Just block the person. Just get rid of them. If it was one person, what does it f matter? Why would this person even be called a Bao Blueberry? Oh my god, just, I mean, their profile's your local nymphomaniac, autistic 26. Uh, they're, they're Moo Moo. So maybe they're like a, a cow VTuber? If they're a cow VTuber, like, I could, I guess I could understand, maybe. And so I went to their profile. I was like, okay, oh, please be, please be patient. You are. Please be patient, I have autism. It's like, okay, I'm glad that's censored. I'm glad that's censored. We're got, they got a fansly. We're got, this is dangerous territory, chat! We're in dangerous territory here. I was like, I... They literally just have, like, giant tits. And they're purple. I was like, I just... I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, they're participating in the Twitch meta, I see. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe I need to... Maybe I need to Twitch meta. That's how I get attention. Twi Twitch meta and then... I can't use Bow. Too many people have used Bow to try and springboard attention on Twitter off of. What's a what's another giant VTuber I can get upset at? Shy Shy Lily's prettier than me and it makes me feel bad, so we need to cancel her for being attractive. <laughs> Shy Lily and her scat fed I'm sorry, what? <laughs> sure why not, but also not really. Make another twit longer about Pippa. <laughs> She's a VTuber. If she didn't want to attract chubby chasers or inflation bros, she could have literally been any size. Chubby chasers aren't going to be insulting towards her, though, because they're, like, too busy j***ing it about her soft tummy. Filipino Frank. Goddamn. I, like, I scrolled my timeline after I got to my PC, and I saw that uh, this dumb, dumb VTweeter in my mentions uh, was correct. <laughs> there are more people. Who are complaining about this literal non-issue. And because they're pissing in the ocean of piss, of course, I'm going to splash some piss back onto them. So let's the sprout person is a gay man fruit, whatever that means. And they say, fat phobia is a real issue. It intersects with ableism and classism. Mocking, having a bias, being discriminatory towards fat people is bigotry and makes you a mean and bad person. Your bigotry is not cute or funny. Many fat people are disabled. Many are not. I'm glad you wasted characters saying literally nothing. It doesn't matter the circumstances. Fat people deserve the respect you give anyone else. You don't get to pick and choose who deserves basic human respect. And if you think you do, you're an asshole. I want to know why so many people don't understand that, like, respect is not freely given. It is something that is earned. And the fact that everyone is on the chopping block when it comes to jokes means you are being treated the same as everyone else. You're just not being given special privileges, which is seemingly what is actually wanted here. Fat discrimination has caused so many premature deaths. So many missed terminal illnesses covered up as just lose some weight. Fam, we are, we are anime people on Twitter. We are not doctors. Bao making fun of inflation and inflating herself is not going to cause anyone to die because... She is a Bowberry, not a Dr. Bowberry. <laughs> On some Discord introductions, you've used asshole as your pronoun. 
Oh my god, you think that was cholesterol-induced heart attacks, not fat phobia? They phrased it really wrong, but I get what they're trying to say, where some doctors will overlook that you might have some sort of debilitating issue beyond just being obese. But they'll just be like, well, we're blaming it on you being overweight and we're not even going to bother checking for anything else. It's kind of how, like, as as a whammons, I deal with the doctors just being like, oh, you're just imagining the pain. It's clearly not real. You're a whim and just, uh, just go home, you know, just uh, sleep it off. Maybe, maybe go to a mental institution. <laughs> the amount of medical abuse and malpractice that happens to fat people is beyond disgusting. Well, it's, it's a good thing we're anime people on Twitter and the not doctors. If you contribute by shaming, making fun of, thinking fat people are gross and funny simply because they are fat, you contribute to those deaths. The harm is also on your hands as a society member. It's wrong. You're not, you're not gonna shame me into thinking Ethan Bowberry is committing obese murder any more than you're going to convince me that playing Hogwarts Legacy is committing trans genocide. Ni neither of those things are correlatable. <laughs> I sit with my back against the wall, staring down my gravy laden hands, corpses all around me, blood and gravy mixing together. I don't even know which one is which anymore. The stench of salt, coins, a little arid vinegar in the air. What have I done? If only I had not enjoyed the bowberry, these fat people would still be alive today. <laughs> Oh my god, but millions of trans did die from Hogwarts, don't deny history? Hey yo, maybe cool it with the anti-semitism there, did the wizards have enough ovens for that? <laughs> Kirsha liking Bowberry killed at least 20 fat people. I was just like, man, a oh man! I will always stand up for my fat peers, even if it didn't affect me, that doesn't matter. Bigotry is wrong! You should really take a long, hard look at yourself before you even think about opening your mouth about others. Okay, Mom? To the fat people that feel hurt from this current situation, you are heard and loved. You are beautiful the way you are, no matter what these mean bigots say. It's not your fault for others' hatred in their hearts. They're the problem, not you. And again, in like our current victim culture that we have, people will see all kinds of jokes and be like, this is targeting me. And it's not. Nobody, nobody like went to someone, and I'm just gonna use Nim as an example. Nobody, nobody went to someone and they were like, wow, Nim is a bowberry. Nim is, Nim is so fat. I'm gonna make all these memes about Nim being obese all the time. Nobody, nobody is doing that. Bowberry just doing her own fucking thing. And Nim. if you have, if you have Nim. one person Nim. who calls you that, yeah. just ban them. Get rid of them. One person saying one thing one time, you don't, it's just like fucking get rid of them. It's not even worth talking about. And bullying is bad, obviously, but telling people they're overweight and how that may attract them negativity is the opposite. I mean, it, it also depends on the context, right? Like, if you if you come up in someone's stream, right? If you come up in someone's stream and you're just like, Wow! You're obese! Let me tell you how to fix that! Like, bro, what are you doing? Are you autistic? Do you know where you are? Why are you doing that? <laughs> so who's going to draw Nim as a bowberry? Oh my god. Summon and thank you for the five dollars. It took you a year to lose 50 pounds, another year to do pull ups, set goals, keep going. Yeah, you treat it like a video game sometimes. You want to see big numby, you want numby to go up just like your experience bar. This, this V tweeter, they will call it a hot take or a joke and pretend their words don't hold power to hurt others. I'm all for speaking your mind and stating your opinion, but damn, y'all, <laughs> help, where's your empathy? 
Can we all agree that attacking people's body type and or gender is just sad? Where the fuck did gender come into this? How have we not grown past that bullshit by now? I'm not gonna touch on the parody models because it's not my place. But everyone using your faves as an excuse to push your hateful agendas are spineless. Stop using your faves as shields to say terrible shit. The only thing I know about this seething VTweeter is that they bought into the NFT VTuber award thing and they were like, if I win, I'm going to use my time at the acceptance speech to talk about how important it is to support Palestine. And I was like, you're winning a VTuber. Like, I mean, they didn't win, but like if they did, you're winning a VTuber award. Why the fuck would you? Why would you do that? The hateful agenda in the room with us right now. Yeah. She also dogpiled Silvervale. It's I can't remember all of the dumb shit all of these thieving V tweeters have done. So thankfully, we have Curry Ringy here to remind us since my memory is not as good. He said this is your level of empathy when Silvervale is getting harassed for playing a dumb video game, trying to capitalize on her misery. Fuck right off, you're as fake as any of your other attempts to garner positive attention. Jokes aside, my community is a safe space for the trans community and the whole of the LGBTQIA plus community. Trans rights are human rights. You are loved. Also looking for trans creators to join me for a stream gathering next week. We don't have to talk about what's going on. I'll be your new comfy streamer. I stand with trans rights. I've seen the hurt my trans loved ones go through, the pain strangers and even their given families have put them through. If they tell me that it will hurt them, I will listen because supporting them will always be more important than a few hours of leisure. Whatever happened to people or people, let them live how they want as long as they don't push it on others. To which the V-Tweeter responds, the issue is that lives are at stake. People are dying being attacked and mentally abused their rights stripped from them like they aren't the right type of human they can't live how they want so why is it okay that we do harry potter kills trans people <laughs> Like, just this mentality is fucking crazy to me, dude. Literally madness. And it's like, I know, I know this person <laughs> pre-debuts. <laughs> She's not even a pre-debut. She actually streams, but it's like, if you spent more time on your content instead of just virtue signaling on Twitter, I, well, you'd get somewhere. Nobody on Twitter knows who the fuck I am. Because for the longest time, I didn't even use it. My, like, if you go back in my Twitter history, the majority of my Twitter posts are just going live notifications that were automatically posted by a bot. <laughs> this is what happens when you're terminally online. That is the content. I mean, they can keep posting it. It's content for me. <laughs> Does someone think of the chill? I mean, the trends. Going live is pretty offensive towards V-tweeters, you bigot. Good. It is It is the right side of history to be discriminatory towards V-tweeters. Condoning doxing of someone and sending them death threats just for playing a video game is definitely not cute. Bridget, how dare you be logical? No one is condoning it. I'm saying there are bigger issues like trans children being killed. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there. Where where are the trans children being killed here? And their rights being stripped from them daily. Trans rights are more important right now. Trans people have been abused, doxxed, sent death threats, and killed on a larger scale for years. Defend those who can't defend themselves. You are more than welcome to comment your opinions wherever you want, but don't use doxing as an excuse to change the subject from the bigger issue at hand. They're low-key condoning it with a victim narrative? Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Harry Potter, are we going to talk about the innocent people who were mistaken as relatives of J.K. Rowling and are getting lynch mobbed online even when Rowling said they weren't her kids or whatever? And how people are trying to find out who her daughter is so that they can harass her? Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. These these people genuinely are insane. Man, 
I don't like the bow fat suit thing. It's just punching down. It's the kind of humor I'd expect from a kid with no social awareness. And someone else responded, I looked up some videos to try and figure out if this is the Willy Wonka parody everyone said, and got the parody music video that talks about diabetes and stretch marks, so... Eh, is it really about the blueberry scene? I don't know. Oh, nice call. As someone who's not even, like, super deep in the Bowberry lore, it started from the Willy Wonka scene, and then it wildly spun out of control, and she leaned into the inflation fetish so hard that people started questioning, is this a bit anymore? Is she actually into inflation? <laughs> this is a journalist that I just pulled up at the end. I guess we're done with the Bowberry. I love the Bowberry. I don't care what anyone says. I'll jump on her like a trampoline. Let's go. <laughs> a few minutes later. He might have posted something in the stream suggestions, which I specifically requested. I will enjoy it. I'm perceiving. I'm perceiving. You're right. I did ask for this, and it's enjoyable. This, uh, this is, this is, is this AI? If this is AI, this is impressive as. F <laughs> it is okay. I see the fucked up hand. The sound of an angel. This is, uh, this is real. I like this. <laughs> thank, thank you, Azehara. I was expecting another link to Black Rock houses, but goddamn, this is even better. <laughs> The Bowberry definitely tops it. You think even Bow would like this? Yeah, as like, as like Horror, since you made it, you should you should post it. I don't know if she has an AI art tag. I don't know her stance on AI art, but you know, I think this is cute. <laughs> the hammer feed and cankles. It's so good. What in the holy fuck? What does Blackrock want with the Bowberry? BlackRock is terraforming the inside of the Bowberry to make more housing projects for illegal immigrants. <laughs> oh my god. No Fs to give! Thank you for the member! Thank you for the member! <laughs> Should reply to the V-tweeter with this and watch their heads explode! <laughs> oh god. You'd rather at the very least have it separate? Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, I, I, I still am glad that people want to spend time doing, like, AI gens to, you know, as fans. But I, I want to keep it separated from, like, actual artists doing art. Machines can be pain and exposure. It's the circle of life. Oh, my God. The machine god makes some crazy stuff. It does. I, I don't know how it made a bow so f***ing cute here, too. <laughs> Jesus. Your biggest issue is when people try to pass AI off as real art. Same. I don't- if you're making AI art, you should definitely call it what it is, for f***ing sure. And on top of that, like, my other stance is like, I just- I don't think you should make money off of AI art. I don't- I don't think you should be selling, like, AI art designs on merchandise and stuff. But that's just, like, my opinion, man. Excuse me, Strammer! Are you implying persons of AI aren't real artists? Yes, that is- a, that is exactly what I'm implying. <laughs> It's more like the circle of death to me. Don't you insult my Bowberry trampoline? 